Well, hey guys, how's it going? So <laughs> I just filmed the FabFitFun unboxing for you guys. So if you're like, weren't you just wearing that outfit like a few videos ago? Yes, I was. And no, I haven't moved from this little seat here. Um, but over the holiday, like I said in that video, I got um, a few boxes in the mail that I wanted to share with you all. Uh, the FabFitFun box being one of them, which hopefully you enjoyed that video in the skincare commentary related to the contents of the box. <laughs> um, but I have another little box here. Um, Jennifer at Pinch Me reached out to me and asked if she could send me a VIP Pinch Me box. Um, as somebody with a uh, YouTube channel, I, um, she selected me to be a Pinch Me VIP. Whenever I hear VIP, I think a night at the Roxbury, like I have to stand in line um, and, you know, be dressed a certain way in order to get in. So I don't know, maybe Pinch Me like my, my gray couture and lack of ma makeup vibes with their guest list, but um, they, they asked to send me this and I'm really grateful for it and to share it with you all. What this is, is it's kind of like a subscription box that you don't actually have to pay for and you don't have to pay any shipping on. And what it is, is um, a box that comes um, monthly, I believe. And um, the Tuesday, there's a there's a Tuesday within the month where they email you and it's like a pinch me day. And you go in, into this site and you kind of pick out um, samples and stuff that you want to try out. And they put them in the box and they mail you the box. No, you don't have to pay for anything. You just have to fill out, you know, your little requests or whatever. And they send you the box and then in exchange, um, you're supposed to just review the little samples that they sent you, which is fun. It's a fun way to, to try new things um, without having to buy them. And it gives companies feedback on, you know, your feedback as a consumer on what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. So for me, you guys know, I love trying things out and criticizing them. Um, but companies don't always necessarily hear that because, you know, I don't think they watch my videos. So being able to, to to have it in written form and give them that feedback, I think just maybe helps them make better products. Like we can complain about the fact that they put a ton of fragrance and stuff. So I think that, it, you know, I was excited about this because A, it doesn't cost anything. Um, and you know, it's a fun way to try stuff out. So I didn't pick any of the stuff in here. Um, and like I said, this is supposedly a VIP box. So she um, made the disclaimer that there are a few more items than what you would receive. You may receive fewer items than what I'm receiving but I'm on the list so I get a few extras I guess um, but uh, she picked the item so I have no idea what is in here okay but let's open it up all right, first off, ooh, I'm actually kind of stoked for this. You guys may be surprised this is a nail polish by Essie okay um, and the reason that I'm stoked about it here can you see focus The reason that I'm stoked about this, so you all probably have picked up on the fact that I don't paint my nails and nail polish can be problematic and I'm mostly just lazy and can't keep up with it. But occasionally I do enjoy painting my nails. I like the way it looks. I think it looks really nice. I am a human at the end of the day, not just a talking head who cautions against fragrance and, and cosmetics. Um, but I, you know, and I do like, like things like, like nail polish occasionally, particularly around the, um, particularly around like certain occasions. And, um, but I never go into the nail salon. I just, I, I find the prices insane. I mean, $30 for somebody to put paint on your nails. Are you kidding me? I, I just can't comply. Um, and I, I have never enjoyed going in the nail salon personally. Um, props to those of you gals who, uh, who make that kind of investment. Um, it just, it, it's never appealed to me. And you know, you can pick up uh, some nail fungus, you know, nail fungus in there, which is part of the reason why, why I've, I've chose, I choose to stay away from them. Regardless of how clean they are or how clean they appear, you know, dermatophytes and nail fungus are kind of ubiquitous in our environment and they can be really tough to get away from. Um, and so you really put yourself at quite a, quite a high risk uh, getting a nail, nail, nail manicure or whatever by, by human, <laughs> basically. But anyways, I have used Essie nail polishes in the past uh, when I've gotten glammed up, if you will. So I'm 
Pretty stoked to have this one. I'm not familiar with this new line. They have the Treat, Love, and Color. This one has some sort of strengthener and fortifier in it. So I'm guessing a higher shellac concentration, perhaps. Who knows? But I love the color. It's this pretty gray. You guys know I like gray and black and basically non-color colors. So I'm, I like that quite a bit. And the reason that I'm happy to have this is that um, I do like painting my own nails but I never have any nail polish. And I was thinking I might like to paint my nails for New Year's Eve, wouldn't that be fun? So I'm happy to have that. I don't have to run out and buy one and I like this color, so I'm glad for that. I'm one of those people too where I have to paint my fingernails and my toenails the same color. Comment below, are you that way? Um, my fingernails and my toenails have to be the same color. It drives me nuts if, they, if I paint one and not, and if I paint one one color and the other another color. I, I rarely do either, but when I do, I, I'm compulsive and I have to paint both all 20, all 20 nails of the same color. <laughs> oh, next up we got, you guys have wanted me to try this. This is the um, brand Shea Moisture. Um, they're Omega 369 Rescue Bubble Bath and Body Wash. Okay, I'll try that. It's got quinoa in it um, and the Sasha Incha, which uh, can actually be uh, very moisturizing. It has no parabens, no phthalates, no propylene glycol, no mineral oil, no sulfates, no animal testing, okay? Um, aside from the animal testing thing, really nothing there that they're claiming to not have put in here is necessarily bad or offensive, um, but they have invariably put fragrance in here which can can be a problem and it's more likely to be a problem than anything they haven't put in here okay and then they also included a sample of a body lotion so happy to try that without having to buy a whole bottle of something that i might not like and give them feedback to hey you made a good or, or decent product why not consider making one without fragrance in it for those with sensitive skin this is why i'm enthused about this all right, what else did they, they put in here? This is, ooh, this is a full-size uh, professional series hydrating argon oil mask. Oh, this is good. Deep conditioning and hydration for softer, silkier, and healthier looking hair. You guys know I've been loving that Arubio Japanese uh, shampoo conditioning mask thing that I've been using. I use it as a shampoo, but it is one of these uh, hair mask type dealios. I love it. And you all asked me a fair amount about argon oil. I used it, um, made, you know, talked about it in videos in the past. Uh, I've used it to remove oil, um, sunscreen and mascara as a first step in the double cleanse method. It works well that way. And I never really tried putting it on my hair because to be frank, I don't have like, I don't have problems with split ends or dry hair. Um, but I'm happy to, to try anything that makes it uh, softer and silkier. Um, so I, I look forward to trying this professional series. Boy, that is a biggie size for completely free. Um, so I'm happy about that, uh, to try that out for you guys and, and make some talking points on it at some juncture. Then we've got snacks. Who doesn't love snacks? Okay, we've got nut thins. I have had nut thins before, um, I think. Um, hint of sea salt, almond and rice crackers. These are good. So how handy is this? 27 crackers you get, 90 calories uh, and uh, two grams of protein. This is super handy to have. Um, and you can give the almond people some feedback on their product. So just as a trombone for that. Then I have always wanted to try these. Unfortunately, they are not vegan, however. These are the RX bars. These are the ones for kids. <laughs> How cute. Um, I like the sound of these because they tell you exactly what's on the label, you know, what the ingredients are. This one, for example, is made with two egg whites, four almonds, five cashews, one date, and nothing else. This is apple, cinnamon, raisin. What about raisins? Yeah, I guess they don't tell you everything that's on there. Um, apple flavor, vanilla flavor. Um, but it does have eggs in it, unfortunately. Um, comment below, vegans. Okay, I totally get the, you know, if you're a vegan for ethical, you know, animal reasons primarily, the egg thing I, it makes perfect sense to avoid eggs. I mean, the way that, you know, chickens are treated, I know it's terrible and the conditions, etc. cetera. Um, but in terms of like the nutritional benefits of avoiding animal products, you know, I, I can see, I can see that from a health perspective for sure. You know, diets high in, in meat, for example, and, um, 
uh, processed meats, not associated with, with necessarily a good health, if you will. So there is, uh, you know, and, and the more plants you eat, the better off you are. But I don't know, I can never really make a case against eggs as far as a food um, being a problematic. And they're the one thing with, with the vegan thing where I'm always like, mmm, and how do I, how bad do I really feel about the eggs? Um, I'm not knowing where the eggs were, were sourced from. I completely could see the ethical dilemma here as far as, as the way the chickens were treated. Uh, but from a health perspective, mm, this, is, this is where being vegan gets a little persnickety. Um, and you may choose to be flexible. So I don't know if I'll try these or not, um, but um, I'm sure I can find a non-vegan here in Texas who will try them readily. So I'm not worried about that. Um, and then the other flavor is uh, the... Two egg whites, four almonds, five cashews, one date, berry blast. How cute is this? These are great for kids, you know, to, to have um, instead of like candy, for example. Um, this is handy as a handy can be. Comment below and if you've had these and if you like them, but I am stoked to have them. Oh, we got some gum. Wonderful. Orbit white peppermint gum. We got two gum packets. These little um, single use packets are so handy to, uh, to have in your bag. So I really like that. And then lastly, we got, yeah, definitely something I would not buy, but I'm actually pretty happy to have, um, are these Carbona Safe Unstained Super White um, Laundry Whitening Sheets. Oh dear, okay. Interested to try these out because you guys know I use um, like a fair number of those Costco washcloths, uh, kind of on my keratosis pilaris here on the upper arms in a circular motion. Um, and I'm always at jazz to try things that brighten. Um, so let's try this safe bleach-free formula for whites or patterned whites. Um, these are made in Germany, Delta Pro Natura. I don't think I've ever seen these before. I don't even understand how this would work. I guess it, it probably just wicks out stains. I'm excited to try this. I bet this would be good for those um, you know, armpit deodorant stain kind of things on whites, so. Cool, I'll be glad to try that out because I'm always looking to uh, up the ante on my laundry laundry routine. Laundering clothing is really an art, you know, like uh, getting stains out of fabrics. I mean, Martha Stewart really has some excellent uh, information on her website on how, how to get stains out of things. Um, it, it is wonderful. Comment below anybody who um, is really into homemaking and, and, and that sort of thing, or just, you know, I don't know, having, ha not having pit stains. Comment below on how, how you effectively uh, remove them. But yeah, I will list all of the information down below on Pinch Me. Um, I think it's fantastic. I'm really excited to be in the VIP club, um, and I hope you guys check them out as well. Um, I will list their information down below. Thank you, Jennifer, so much for sending this to me, and I look forward to uh, chit-chatting about the um, skincare products with you guys as I try them out along the way. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.